Okie dokie, and we are back for part number seven of our adventures in the wasteland through Fallout 2. Oh, right. He's a doctor, he's pretty messed up. Um, I should check a little bit, I don't know where he's at. Alright, combat control. Uh, he's at 32 out of 70, a little under half health. I think he's going to be okay. He is just being a bit of a whiner right now. Alright, that's everything. So now we should be good to continue on the way to the great Vault City. And we managed to make it all the way to Vault City without an encounter. I am both surprised and concerned. Talk to Wallace if you're looking to get into the city. I'm guessing this one is not Wallace. So is this not like the actual city then? Am I allowed through here? Do they begin open firing? Okay. So one of the courtyard's grungy residents. You're as bad as them. Greeting office. Maybe I should swing in through here first. Who's that guy out there? Am I greeting? Or is there anyone else here that might be a little friendlier? See, monitor. Computer displaying various bits of data. I can't do anything with it. Can I use a little bit of science on this part, perhaps? Fail to learn anything. I don't think I really would have anyway. My science is abysmal. Huh. Alrighty then, what are these? Stern looking guard. No loitering. Are these prisoners? They are indeed. That might be the worst prison ever. What has happened to this guy? Charlie. Charlie is wheezing. Charlie... Looks like he might be having some kind of an episode. Can I? Oh, goodness. Is first aid going to help Charlie any? This man looks terribly sick. You're not sure what's wrong. I am definitely not going to learn. Either. Looks terribly sick. We're still not sure what's wrong. Well... Unfortunately for you, you need the opposite of my skill set. Sorry, Charlie. You're already going down the path that I'm skilled at. Dusty looking traveler. Another dusty looking traveler. And a dusty looking traveler. Cassidy. Cassidy, I run this place. What can I do for you? Not exactly the Cassidy I was expecting, but all right. <clears throat> I'm looking for the vaults. For twenty, shot a whiskey for thirty. Whoa. Nothing special. Why? You want something? Uh, wait. What was that about the vault? vault. Only vault I know of is the one inside the city. Big friggin' hole. You can't miss it, trust me. Interesting. <laughs> Friend, Vault City ain't an interesting place. Unless the guards get bored, then you better take cover. Why are you asking? You looking for something in this sinkhole? I, um, I don't think. Anything that you're going to be able to provide. 
from the sounds of it. You do have something else I'm a little interested in. And unable to acquire from you. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's way too much. Uh, the rope seems pretty handy. I don't want to trade with you at all, actually. Uh, bye. Alright, bar's a little bit of a wash. Bronchies going up, gonna be a bad season. It's nasty drought. Can barely afford a day pass. Day pass for what? Do you need a pass to get into the vault? You see the courtyard well. Oh. Oh no. I just drank from the radiated well water. I am foolish. Extremely foolish. Well, let's see what happens with that. I don't know how radiation works in here. I guess we are gonna find out. Easy doctor, Andrew. That's comforting. You here to get patched up? Uh, I think I could possibly use some medical attention now. Alright, from the looks of it, it's gonna cost a hundred and fifty bucks. You got the cash, then you're good to go. No guarantees with the old doctor in the back room, of course. That is pretty steep. How about fifty? Alright, that sounds fair. Let's get to it then. I'll just hook up the old doctor here, have him lay down, and I'll tighten the braces and secure the clamps. And good to go. They're all stitched up. The old doctor still had some life left in him. Much appreciated. We may be back if that actually didn't take care of the main issue. I gave him $50 to heal up zero hit points. Oh, this is going so poorly. All around. Oh gosh. In my last save, it's before I left. Oh no. Well, I'm learning some... I'm... I've learned a few lessons now. Doctors do not help. Radiation. Is the radiation gonna kill me shortly? Goodness. Good golly, Miss Molly. He's got some 10 millimeter rounds and. Ooh, two, two, threes. Excellent. Okay. Um. Oh my god, he's got so much nice stuff. This is microfusion cells. Wow. I, ooh, whoa, okay. Uh, I'll be back in a minute when I figure out exactly how we're doing this. Alrighty, so I think the only thing that's pretty reasonable, safe, affordable, is going to be uh, selling the jerky, the guns and bullets, and the pipe rifle. And for <laughs> 48 rounds of 10 millimeter and 50 rounds for the hunting rifle, I think that's going to take us a pretty good ways going forward. <clears throat> this might be my favorite shopkeep I found so far. So now we will want to trade with Vic, and we're going to give him, he does still have 10 millimeter rounds. Well, we'll give him some extra ones to make sure 
He's not running out anytime soon. I should be okay for a time period. <clears throat> With the stack of 50 rounds there. I, I hope that lasts for a couple minutes. So we're going to actually swap out the Desert Eagle for now, since I've only got four bullets left. And the hunting rifle's got quite a few in it still. So we got 57 rounds for it. It hits like a truck with some pretty good range. We both got actual armor on now. <clears throat> I think we're actually in decent shape here. As long as this radiation doesn't turn out to be a lot more dangerous than I first thought. And they said something about like having to speak to someone before I go inside, but there is definitely no one to speak to, and there is no one in any of these places filled with nothing. They say Wallace? Uh -huh. A stern looking guard. You're out of here after 6 p.m. Is there like a curfew? Let's see, get guards. Okay, stop right there, friend. No one is allowed past this point without proper authorization. Yes, proper authorization. If you want to get into Bald City, you need to speak to Wallace, head of customs. He can issue you a day pass. Oh my god. Alright, well, where is Wallace? Yeah. Alright, thanks, bye. Has he just appeared in here now that I've spoken to him? Was he watching me? In a corner somewhere, rooting through his stuff. No, I don't think he's in here, man. Maybe back in here. No. Oh. What the heck, man? You failed to disable the lock. What? Disable. Um, I don't like the sound of that. We're just going to leave it alone. Wallace isn't in there, bud. Is he in the tap house? Are you Wallace? You're not Wallace. People don't really seem to like me. Uh, one of these people must know something about Wallace or the day pass or something. Who was it that just told me something about a day pass? What is this place again? Here's the common body shop for Vault City. Me and the old doctor in the back patch up whoever needs some attention. Uh, old doctor? Oh, the auto doctor. It's a loner from the city. It can be a little ornery sometimes, but mostly it does its job. Mostly. Uh, ornery, huh? Maybe Vic can take a look at it. Maybe. I don't 
know how. Actually, I would tell him to. This is the auto dog. That's the auto. You see an auto dog. All right, uh, Vic. Bud. Up there. Oh, how would I? Oh. Does he just automatically do it because his skill is better than mine? He examined the auto dock, but can't seem to figure out the problem. Oh no, I'm gonna have to use science first, aren't I? Or is he just gonna have to... Looks badly in need of repairs several decades past, so... Oh no. How did I do it better than he did? He must have a better skill than me. The damage wasn't as bad as it seemed. Some interior cables needed to be replaced in the diagnostic board clean, no problem. Gain 100 experience points. Alright. Cool. No, I'm just, just stopping by. Uh, do you want to like, give me some money for that or anything? Old doctor? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I replaced some of the cables and stuff. Shouldn't give you any problem. <laughs> yeah, any chance you can give me a discount in the future? Hell no, I didn't ask you to fix this. You don't get jack. I wouldn't push your luck as long as the guards are in earshot. <clears throat> hmm. I mean, he's not, uh, yeah, yeah, no, let's not start a gunfight. You're welcome, asshole. Is there anything else I could help you with? I guess not. It doesn't seem like it. You want to give me some more nasty well water? What can you tell me about the Vault City? What you see here ain't really Vault City. You're actually standing in the city's courtyard. Why aren't you in the city? Me and the family ain't the kind of people they let in there, so we live under their protection. Why aren't you allowed to live in the city? We're from the wasteland, like yourself. So all we can get is protection from Vault City. What kind of protection? They keep us safe from the outside, but it costs me and the wife quite a bit. And without a plow, making ends meet is difficult. Can I help with the plow? You'd help people like us? We can't offer much, but we sure would appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, it's no problem. I like to help. Well, thank you kindly, stranger. Do you know where I can find a plow? There's one over near the guns and ammo store. Harry might be selling it. All right. I'll go look for it. That's junk. That's this would be the guns and ammo store, right? Is this Harry? Oh, oh, wait. Harry is the. He, this is Harry's. Happy Harry's. Well, hello there. What can I do for you? Uh, you still selling that plow out there? Why, yes I am. I'll let it go for, say, 800. I'll conveniently, all of my money. Forget it, the Smiths Can Starve is super, super tempting. I'll give you a six? Sorry, friend, it's going to cost 800. Oh my 
Oh, man. That's everything. That's everything I got. 800? Oh, God. Pulling on my heartstrings. Fine, take my money. It's yours. Pockets the money. You just gonna take it, or do you need it delivered somewhere? Just drop it off at the Smiths. Not a problem. I'll have it dropped off right now. Thanks. You still got that cash on you? Well, hello there. What can I do for you? Can I make my money back somehow? It just disappeared. Oh, maybe it didn't. I have, like, nothing I can trade him, really. This is the only thing I have that's really worth value. Oh, man. I only got four bullets for it anyway. And it's 800. That's... It would give me all my money back. And I get another $10, $10 for the four rounds. Oh, man. Yeah, we're gonna do it. I got, I got the rifle. I got a pistol. We got the melee weapon. I've got rad scorpion limbs that I don't know what I'm supposed to do with at all. I've only got fool. All right, there's the pistol. Give me my money back. Jerk. Eight hundred dollars for a plow. Wild. Thank you kindly. Here's a little something my pa gave me before he left this world. With the guards protecting us, we don't need it. But you might be able to make some use out of it. Thank you very much. I'm sure this will come in handy. Take care. You see a short drove. You have found a plow for Mr. Smith and his family. You've gained 250 experience points. And received. <laughs> a replacement 44 pistol. And actually profited some ammo out of that. Alright, I guess that works out pretty good then. Not a total wash, I guess. I guess in a way I ended up making a couple of bucks and got more ammo. You are most welcome, Mrs. Uh, farmer Lady. Happy to help. Thank you for your pistol. I appreciate that. It's a very nice one. Okie dokie. Uh, Charlie's still dying. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to help him at all. He's dying. I'm astonished that he's still slowly dying from whatever's killing him. Cassidy, can you tell me anything about stranger. What can I do for you today? He's voiced. There's got to be something deeper here. I'm looking for the vault. Only vault I know of is right. inside the city. Big friggin' hole. You Anything it, interesting? Me. Interesting. <laughs> Friend, Vault City ain't an interesting place. Who said the thing about the, the day pass? Get bored, then you better take cover. Why are you asking? You can't be that bad here. Oh really? Well, hell then, I must be mistaken. Considering you're the authority and all. Guess you must have been napping during the raid last week. I was not here in this town at all last week or last hour. Oh, actually, a yeah, beautiful sight it was. A guard patrol broke in here looking for illegal substances. They busted down the door, busted up my stock, 
and then busted up a few of my customers too. Mm, that would happen. After they hauled away this one guy, Joshua, for resisting arrest, they find my ass for finding, get this, real whiskey on the premises. Never mind that I got a permit from Stark three months before. Bastards. Hmm. No kidding. It gets better. Now I'm in debt to the guards for the fine, and I had to buy a new case of alcohol from a merchant at triple my standard rate. I'm expecting the guards to come knocking again soon just hmm. to bust my chops. Sounds like a racketeering scam. They're just corrupt. This would be interesting. What's it like most of the time, then? Is that just the norm? Even the good days ain't worth a damn. Promise the citizens don't drink much, so I'm stuck here pouring drinks for merchants. The next cheap son of a bitch who haggles for a drink is gonna be wearing his ass for a hat. Good to know. Yeah, why are you here if you hate it so much? I have a bad heart. Need cardio booster shots to keep it beating. This city's the only place to get real medical care, so I thought I'd settle here, try and make a living. No, they're just taking advantage of it. Gotcha. You sound pretty fed up with the place. Almost as though you might want to leave and journey with someone. Makes me want to close up shop and let this city rot. Screw them all. That's what I'm saying. Why not just leave and travel with someone else who has a companion that's slightly overweight named Vic? Go into the wastes by myself. <laughs> I'm sick of this place, but I ain't stupid. So why not come along with someone else who has an overweight companion named Vic? I also have an alcohol problem. We'll get along just fine. <laughs> you serious? Sure, why the hell not? You look like you know how to take care of yourself in a fight. A lot better than Vic. All right. Count me in. Nice. Let's go, man. You have convinced Cassidy to join your party. You gained 300 experience points. I am really hoping radiation doesn't end up killing me. He has no weapon current. Oh, he has a sawed off shotgun currently. Nice. I. I really like. I really like Cassidy at the moment. I'm really enjoying how this is all gone. He's got a bottle of whiskey, rock gut. A very strong liquor or cleaning fluid, you decide. I guess they pretty much all are. Uh, I think you're probably just good to go then, aren't you? Maybe we get you a knife? Some point in time, I'm thinking, I'm thinking you're going to be pretty good with a knife. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, tell me about your gear. What about it? Uh, yeah, what kind of weapons can you use? Well, Shotguns and rifles mostly. Uh -huh. Just personal preference. I ain't a bad shot with pistols, neither. Gotcha. Anything else? You ever need to learn somebody some manners up close and personal? Slip me some brass knuckles. And I can tap dance on their face with my fists. Unarmed. Gotcha. Yes. Great. Anything, anything else? Uh, well, just between you and me, I can also use a spear pretty good. Me and my buddies used to hunt rad scorpions with spears way back when. Back down alive, and they ain't, I might tell you something. Yeah, nothing wrong with you using a spear. Says you. Just don't be calling me no tribal, and we'll get along just fine. Uh, okay, thanks for letting me know about stuff. For you. What are we doing out here? We seem to be running all over the place looking for something. If we got some sort of plan. What are you talking about? We haven't gone anywhere. You haven't taken two steps yet. You have no leg to stand on on this adventure yet. But if you must know, we're looking for a geck. 
the Garden of Eden creation kit. My tribal village needs it to restore their crops. Them things come in kits now, huh? Man, the good book don't mention that, does it? Well, all right then. Let's get hunting. So no concern about me being a tribal? Cool. All right, good. All right, all right, let's go. Good, excellent. Glad we we're all on the same page. I have a new companion. A companion that I feel pretty confident in having at my back, actually. I'm pretty relieved, actually. Still haven't, I can barely afford, that's where I was hearing before, these people saying things. So yeah, I gotta find Ed, a Brahmin farmer person, and I gotta figure out a way to get a day pass, possibly. He's probably in there, isn't he? Oh yeah, let's just help everyone's problems. You, you look upset. It's my husband, Joshua. He got into some trouble in the bar. He accidentally struck a citizen and was arrested. He didn't mean to, but he'd been drinking and... Well, I mean, that's... Yeah, I mean, if he was drunk and attacked someone, then... He, he should be arrested. That's your own fault for not holding your liquor. But it was an accident. He, he didn't mean to. Ah, uh, I mean... I'm sure there might be something a little bit more to this, but it, it really does sound like... You didn't mean to attack someone. You accidentally beat someone up while you were drunk. Uh, sure. Maybe it is a good lesson for them. I don't have too much of a sympathy on that one. I guess with this world and these rules of things, he's lucky they didn't just kill him, really. How likely is it, though, that Joshua is going to be my ticket inside? Any way that I can, like, chat with these guys? I can't get there, can't get there, can't get there. Hmm. I mean, this is the only lead I got, right? Vic, you're not just like... I need to ask you something. Where's Ed? He should be around here somewhere. Oh, he said he was a Brahmin dealer. Maybe... I haven't been in here. There's a Brahmin pen here. Maybe this is Ed's very sad house. Are you Ed? A gap tooth man in a dirty blue shirt. <laughs> he smells strongly of Brahmin. Nick is saying that this is Ed's place. Well, hello there, stranger. I'm Ed, the local Brahmin dealer. Help you with something? Oh, thank goodness. Uh, let's see. My friend Vic here says he, brought, he bought a water flask from you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember it. It's been a long time, Vic. Water flask, huh? What about it? Can you tell me where it came from? You know, I can't quite recall. I had a bunch of them for a long time. I think I picked them up during one of my Brahmin drives. Didn't need them much when I settled down. Brahmin drive. When I was a lot younger, I used to drive Brahmin through the big circle. Broken Hills, New Reno, Redding, the Den, Modoc, then back here. It just got too dangerous after a while, so I settled here. Somewhere within the circle of these locations. Alright, so where are all of these places? Well, let me mark it on your map. Let's see, Broken Hills is south, 
So you bear west on the trail from there, and you'll hit Reno. And then you go northwest to Reno is Redding. Then it's north to the Den, east to Modoc, then east to here in Vault City. Okay. You got any idea which of those you found it in? Sorry, I can't remember exactly. It was a long time ago. Why do you want to know? Looking for the vault that it came from. Well, if it's a vault you're looking for, then there's one inside the walls of Vault City. What is it, 13 inside the city? Well, now, I don't know if it's 13 exactly, but there's a vault. If that ain't the one you're looking for, the vault's central computer might know where the others are. They've damn near listed everything in it. That's going to be mighty interesting. I had some other questions. Can you tell me more about Vault City? It's an okay place if you can deal with the citizens. I don't agree with some of their views, but hey, I made a pretty good living here. Alright, uh, you got trade, and you got some, you have some cash. Some very small amount. Do these mean anything? You don't want them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these rad scorpion limbs, but I'm going to do something with them. By golly. Alright, I thank you so much, Ed, for your wealth of information. You have a good one. Hmm. <clears throat> what can I do for you, boss? I nothing, I guess. Nothing. What's up? You got that I'm pulling rank look again. Well, I'm not, you're not doing nothing like that. Don't worry. I just want to know. Just want to ask some questions. What What's you do? Up? You got that I'm pulling rank look yeah. again. Okay. Now, that's it. Alright. I don't know. Maybe it was just a little early on or late in the day or something for Wallace and I just missed him. I don't, I don't think there's like any other ways that I can go. Healthy looking woman in clothes. In working clothes. She's... Alright. Working clothes. Keep your eyes firmly fixed on the ground. I cannot speak to you. I have work to do. Vault City Slave. I used to have two children, but they were shipped northwards. I hope they make their way here someday. Okay. I'm so sorry. Oh, there's people here now. Awesome. Uh, Wallace's assistant, Skeeve. I'm gonna assume he has a name tag. A thin man with a pinched face, wearing a sharply pressed vault suit. Hello, traveler. Welcome to Vault City. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, who are you? I guess. Name's Wallace. I'm the customs officer for Vault City. I accommodate those who wish to conduct business within our great walls. I would like to enter the Vault City. If you want to enter Vault City, then you'll need a good reason. Only a Vault citizen has the right to come and go as they please. All others must procure a day pass. It's very important you let me in to speak with your leader. Well, of course, everyone desires an audience with the first citizen. Sadly, her time is only for matters of the utmost importance. And it kind of is. That's why it's vital I speak to her. I'll be sure to throw in a good word about how efficiently the customs office is being run. But if you can't help me, then... Well, I didn't say I couldn't help you, it's just that, well... What is the purpose of your visit? Uh, I'm looking for a Gek to save my village. A Gek? Well, that means nothing to me. 
and if means nothing to me, it will certainly mean nothing to the first citizen. Now, was that what you wished to see the first citizen about, or was it something else? It's kind of presumptuous, someone. Never mind. We'll talk about it later. What if I, like... Uh, hey, they got twisters. Miles wide in the Midwest. That's a terrifying thought. What if I take this armor off, and I'm back in the vault suit? Will he just be like, oh, you're a vault resident, person 2. A uh, vault 13. Well, that's lovely. Fuck. Why, you're wearing an original vault suit. Yes, I am. And you won't believe what I had to go through to get the damn thing. Here, take this day pass and go speak with our first citizen. I'm sure she will have many questions for you. I bet I do, too. Cool, okay. What incredible big brain. Are they going to let my friends come in with me? Are they going to make them stay out here? Do I have to tell them to wait? Day pass, please. Right, yep. Yeah. Here you go. Alright, before you go in, we have to search your belongings first. What for? Uh, sometimes outworlders try to smuggle alcohol or addictive drugs into Vault City, buff out Jet Cycle Menta. It's not allowed. Okay, gotcha. Feel free to search me. Alright, looks like you're clean. You can head on in. I guess it works pretty good. My characters tend to be pretty good people. And that I'd rather get the money for the drugs. Um, oh, where are we at, actually? This is probably going to be about a good time to make a little break here in the episode. And then in the next one, we will... Holy moly. Yeah, in the next one, we're going to explore... Into there, I'm thinking. I'm pretty sure. I ain't no expert, but I feel like that's where I'm going to find the per person that is going to be able to give me a little more information. So with that, we shall call, call it a day. Oh, I'm sorry, only citizens are permitted to enter the vault. I'm sure you understand. I was just looking, sorry. Okay, well, then I guess in the next episode we're going to figure out exactly where we go from here. When we pick up, we'll investigate the town a little bit, explore what we have to offer, and figure out exactly how we are going to make our way into there to be able to speak with the first citizen? Pretty interested in what that means exactly. Alright, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next one.